Hi, I'm Dr. Kesha Malhotra. I'm the director of Meta and also the lab director of Rainbow IVF. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about the micro manipulator and how to set it up. So when we talk about the micro manipulator, we have to first understand the parts of the micro manipulator. So basically you have an inverted microscope which you which you would use to visualize whatever you're using it for. Maybe it will be for ICSI or for embryo biopsy or even for embryo grading. Now Apart from the uh, microscope, you also have the manipulator component which basically consists of motorized uh, like uh, joysticks as well as manual joysticks and an injector. This injector could be pneumatic or hydraulic. When I uh, say pneumatic, it basically means that it has uh, an air-based control system. Hydraulic generally has an oil-based control system. Now, whenever we are setting up a micro manipulator, the first thing that we have to understand is that we have to get the alignment proper. Now, for this, there are three axes on the micro manipulator, X, Y and Z, and all three need to be centered. So if you notice that there are certain markers on it, so I'm just going to first center the whole machine in the sense that I would want that all of this is centered. After that, I can start the alignment process. Now, this is the pipette holder. This is for the injection side. This is an oil based uh, holder in the sense that the whole tubing is filled with oil. This gives me certain leverage in the sense that the control is a little bit more, a little bit better, especially when I'm doing biopsies. You can choose whichever injection needle you want of your preference. I am uh, right now using a cook needle. And once you take the pipette, the first step that you want to do is you have to get the oil right to the tip of the pipette holder. Once it's at the tip, you will gently insert it. You'll feel a little bit of resistance at first and that's just the silicon uh, bung that's inside. So you want to pierce that. And once it's inside, you'll just want to get the oil level to probably about half the level of the uh, pipette. Once this is done, you can just put it on the holder and that basically finishes our part one of uh, setting it up. Now. There are lots of knobs in the micro manipulator which you can loosen or tighten and basically you can control how you want to position the uh, needle or the pipette. So I'm just going to uh, angle it in such a way that it's at 35. Push the pipette a little further and just center it. Now there are two more knobs which will move the pipette in the X and Y axis which are these which you can just use for fine adjustment. Now the same process would be done for the holding pipette which is on the other side. Again, now this is a air based uh, system. So I don't have any oil uh, to worry about here. So I can just take out my needle and insert it immediately. Nothing, no mess, no fuss with the air based system. So that's basically how you would want to align the pipettes. Now there are times where the pipette might not be centered or you might have certain issues with positioning it. In these situations, you can just loosen the main knob which is right here and then use your hand to just focus or just align it in a more proper fashion. So I can, as you can see, I can just twist it around till it's in the center and that's basically what will finish the alignment process. Now after this is done, what I would want to do is just check on the micro manipulator whether the needles are aligned or not. I'll just do some fine adjustments based on my vision itself. And then we can just look at it under the microscope. So under the microscope, what I would advise you is that you start at the lowest magnification first. So I've switched on to a 4x magnification. Now in a 4x magnification, the field of vision is better. We are only at 40 times uh, total magnification right now and we can go up to 400 times on this machine. Once we have done this, all I want to do is that both of my needles should be parallel to each other. That's pretty much it. And once you've achieved this, uh, like both the needles being parallel, 
that's where you stop the alignment and the next step would be to move on for XC. So that's basically how you would set up a micro manipulator. And if you have any more questions, you can always ping me on my email, which is metaembryology.com and I'll be happy to answer your queries.